Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty. Time to go into tactical mission and alien abduction site. Minus 10 global panic. We're going to double check if that really reduces all of the panic globally or if it is just in Europe. And you can see uh, just how much difference it makes to have a base here, right? So Europe, Africa and... Um, Soviet Union uh, does come in at uh, 40 or below the areas where we have no scans at the moment Asia in particular North America and uh, Latin America uh, not looking so hot so next month I think uh, the task will be to build up our third base over here with more interceptors anyways for now uh, let's get rolling we want to get our abduction team in we got a team ready and we got our sweet sweet new armor look at that guardian armor and together with our plating we're at 33 armor that is a lot uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, to put the new armor to good use as such Skyhawk is flying up there and we're landing there we go so let's see that we can do this mission and hopefully we're actually going to save a couple of these bombs or abduction pods as well i think we need to abduction missions i think we need to get through six abduction pods and before uh, reinforcements are coming yep i think that was it all right here we go so full starters I think uh, Anders here had the sniper, yep, put it on the ground, and we already got a couple of containers right there. Uh, we just don't want the container to, to be destroyed when we're shooting, and that might just happen. So. Holly moves up. Let's take that. Got one out of five. And we're moving back here. Okay. Okay. I get it. There are a lot of opportunities to just go and kill both of them uh, let's start with 10 shots nice little suppression gets the juices flowing 100 shot from the g did we just shoot ourselves okay that is um, funny and equally stupid at the same time. All right, removal of cover. Very good. And a nice little shot. Nope, that was not so very good. Shattered Realm moves up. Uncle Nuber takes a nice little shot. Suppresses this guy. Very good. One down. Petelius moves up over here. Takes a shot and hunkers down. Uh, ooh, well, it 
This guy has been hit three or four times, but unfortunately we were not be able, uh, we were not able to actually get him down. He's suppressed though, so that's the best we can do for now. Kill two of the others, and we already found a few of the subduction pods. Sixty-six points of damage. Holy macaroni! Don't shoot at the pot, for the love of God. Alright, Zoe here. Spawn Berserk. Down to 1 HP? What is it with those 1 HP things? And by the way, what is it with those massive, massive pieces of damage? Just think about it. We have the heaviest armor. And we're still running into, into trouble. Good. The G moves to the side. Tony. 50-50 Tony. More like not so well hit Tony. So he's being healed. Severely injured though. Begins to move up. Jim moves up as well. Okay, cool. So, Epi here. Shoots. And just gets them down. Very nice. Looking for more of these pots. Finding one. So it spotted an enemy. And we're just hunkering down here. Trying to rush, rush some of the pots. Should have realm. Sees an enemy. Single shot. Unfortunately, a miss. that pot and taking cover so we got one more over here and we got one more over here okay cool Tony moves up all the way here I just realized that I shot with a pistol instead of with a sniper when we finished this guy. All right, never mind. Mistakes were uh, mistakes have been made this day. There's yet another pot over here. Okay, cool. I think we're good for now. Good 
good. Spotted quite a few enemies. Don't want to rush that last spot, specifically with so much resistance. I want other pots in here. Not sure. There may, there may be. Yeah, we can grab that pot next turn. For now, get out of the woods. Remove cover. Remove more cover and get back into the woods. Solid hit. And a kill. Very good. Moving to here. All right, Epi moves to here. And Zoe, since she has already taken a solid hit, we'll just move back for now. Good. Plenty of Overwatch options available. I think we need to open that house. And I now realize uh, these guys here seem to have a heavier armor than the others. Good, let's start just tearing the place apart. That's one hit. Shattered Realm, another hit. Okay. Happy. Another hit. Wow. It took us a while to get all of that down. And I figured that something like that could happen. Reload. All right. Well. Here's the kicker. We're removing the wall. Taking a shot in return, hunkering down. Big fat hit. Continuing with our pistol. Little follow up hit. I'm wondering, do we want to hit this here? No.
Interesting. Well, I can tell you something, my friend, uh, my dear friend. We're still going to get this here. <laughs> okay. Um. One simple shot. It's a miss. Moving up. Anchoring down. And we're hunkering down here. Plus we got Overwatch with Dilly. Okay, cool. So far, everything is going according to plan. This guy is hiding here, which is interesting. He hides behind the massive explosive tank. I think that's... Well, it's a good case uh, to remove copper here. <laughs> Very well. All right, almost. We removed a lot of cover. The G. Begins to hit, takes his pistol, hits again. Oh no. We're immediately healing up. Laser rifle, solid hit. One salvo and another one. Shattered Realm moves forward. Takes a shot. Fortunately a miss. This guy is suppressed. So he moves up. Anchor is down here. to hit him a couple more times but he just does not want to fall oh you can shoot through the window okay oh, okay okay Go down. Close up, they are a little bit more dangerous. hits uh, the 
the cover, and that's about it. The G. Shoots and hits. Tony. We'll be able to shoot in a second. Let's remove cover. And hop her down. All right, Tony shoots as well. We got one down. It's done. And this guy is suppressed. Appreciate it. Another one down. All right, Epi moves up. Can't really throw that far. But we can hunker down, that's okay. And we can move to here. Very much remove the cover, hunker down as well. And Appy takes a shot. No, Abby. <sighs> what is wrong with you? Good. Luckily, our heavy weapon uh, personnel is doing their job. He might not have spotted me out, elsewise that would have been a really, really nasty turn. And I figured the guy was gone. And there were actually two in here. Crazy. Nah, no, 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 we need a surgical weapon here. Should have moved there. Oh, there was even another one. Okay. Let's just overwatch here. It's great to never need to reload the snipers again. Oh, it's just a fantastic improvement, quality of life. Doesn't work with all of the weapons, but it definitely works uh, with the snipers very, very well because you only shoot once per turn. Holy shite. We almost lost Zoe. Down to one hit point. 
close calls and those uh, mm, bit stronger aliens the one that uh, dealt like 65 points of damage on top of the 33 33 armor that we had uh, that's a hundred points of damage it's crazy that they can deal so much damage yeah. which just tells us we need more armor oh that would have been a colonel death wow Good. we can interrogate the civilian we're going to do that maybe soon Okay, wait, so alloy plating is done, which means you guys can start making money for us. Got enough defender armors, guardian armors as well. We could get more armor for our aircraft. This is worth 250 grand though. I mean, they oftentimes take a lot of damage, so I suppose yes. I don't want to be stingy here, so let's just start with that. Alien electronics. Alien sensors have clearly great scientific value. Most notable, superconducting alloy magnets. Uh, by weight, these magnets are several times more potent than anything previously encountered. However, most interesting innovation comes in form of several small hollow emitters disks dotted around the sensor array. When connected to a power source, these begin to project an ever-shining holographic lattice uh, into surface. Okay, cool. New engineering projects. Advanced technical module. That's good. We want that. Those are jetpacks. Ooh. Uh, stalker armor, gauze weaponry. Ooh, ooh, okay. Gauze weapons. Uh, are these kind of the new tier weapons? Maybe. Do I want two further interrogations? Or do we want gauze weapons? Damn it, and I wanted to hire a bigger dropship as well. And explosive, so much really good uh, research. Let's go with the Gauss uh, weaponry. And in terms of engineering, what are these? The jackpot is an optional module that allows the wearer to move vertically on the battlefield. Vertical movement costs four tiles to ascend and descend. Jet specs cannot hover. They must start and end their movement on a walkable tile. Uh, as jet specs does not uh, fill inventory space, the only disadvantage to equipping it is its extra weight, which is five. It's almost nothing. If you think about it, we could climb our uh, Sky Ranger. Oh, these guys are good. But to a 250 grand a pop? Oh wow. Expensive buggers. Maybe later. Uh, maybe later. So, upgrades all tactical modules into advanced tactical modules, which pre uh, provide greater accuracy. Eight accuracy in instead of three? Oh yeah, sign me up. Where do I need to sign? Okay, the Bulls of Jetpacks are cool as well. But the accuracy is way better. Specifically because it upgrades all of our equipment, right? Okay, wait. Now we do have alloy plating, which is for the... for our aircraft, so... What have we gotten now? Armor, zero out of five. Okay, but you guys are building up armor, right? So over time. Okay, we're going to double check that. Five armor is better than, uh, than zero armor. So let's double check that. 
Do I need to equip anything here? Hard points for armor? No. There's no extra hard point. Do they just have the armor? It says zero out of five. Hmm. We need to now build that? Aircrafts. Okay, I'm not 100% sure if we not just wasted 250 grand. And by the way, double check this, it was really minus 10 global panic reduction. That was a fantastic mission. Plus the game gives us finally a little bit more time to research, which is good. That's very much what I was looking for. And we've now finished <clears throat> the living quarters. <clears throat> very soon more laboratory will be coming in, but for now, we can do what I wanted to do. We fill up with soldiers, um, but only the ones that really make the cut. Damn it. Those super good soldiers are gone. Hike <sighs> here isn't bad. 41 accuracy is not so great. Petra and Heike, the Germans. This isn't great either. This here might be okay, Lucy. We had soldiers in the high 60s and 70s beforehand. All right, I'll just scout for other good soldiers. Like this is not really that impressive, but Heike definitely has decent stats. So two times 50, two times three times near 60, 170. These stats are good as well. So let's just hire them. And, you know, a couple of people wanted to be drafted. Let's see. Good. So I looked through the comments and Private Wasp and Krabby wanted to be drafted. So there you go. You're now officially drafted. Let's see how well the whole training is going to go. We're going to see the stats. These were the ones that had decent stats. So we're going we're going with them. It's nice to see that our prime soldiers are nearing that 100 all stats kind of mark. We now got an advanced technical module, which is good. Don't need to build anything else for now, I think, which means they can start creating money for us. But I want to double check a few things. So, number one, we got plus eight accuracy on that uh, module, which means, yeah, he, well, even without the module, he would be great. I, I'm wondering, let me, let, let me just take out the module to see if his accuracy continues to grow without the module, because then we can save up to 12 weight by simply not needing to carry it. But... We got something else here, which is alloy plating, which is now offering five instead of three armor. I like that a lot because it'll give us a bit more bang for our buck. Did 
takes a stun baton instead. So if Dilly any uh, anytime needs to r rush into the Avenger, can uh, into a into a UFO, he can do that with a stun baton. But no. Uh, so that will make the whole plating so much more interesting. Uh, 39 and 35, which I would say the snipers conti please continue to do exactly that. Thirty-five armor. But I hate that the hits are so high. We've taken sixty hit with uh, sixty-two hit with thirty armor. So I fear that armor is absolutely needed, but the enemy still can hit ultra ultra hard. Good. The privates have arrived, which we're now continuing. How long does it take to do that research? Ghost weapon sounded so interesting. Small UFO. Let's center the time and launch our interceptors. Not an hour watch. Okay, well, that's not good. By the way, one more day and then we're finally having more radar. Oh, Angel. One and two are going to take over here. All right, let's intercept it. A little observer. Good, let's go. Is everybody shooting? Yes, no. The observers are dealing such a high amount of damage. Well, we got to accept those results, but I think it was not very well played. Uh, not good. Good. On to the Skyhawk, uh, Cap uh, Captain Zizalal Drakai, with moderate accuracy, will go in there. Nick Nick could also do it. It's better stats are even, so let's make Nick Nick a heavy and assign him to duty. Nick Nick the party snack. We're going for yet another small mission. So, let's double check. Guardian armor, good. We're alright. And I like it that we're getting more and more strength so that we can actually carry these ultra, ultra heavy pieces of equipment. Enders takes a weapon as the second option. also like... Um, like the extra plus five armor here. Accuracy is good. I like it. I wonder if we were to just take this away and put that on. 
We don't need that much ammunition now, but we do have reloading weapons. But the extra armor goes a long way. Grenadier. Let's take that. Take that out. Pistol can also exist without extra ammunition and I think that's good. Heavies are doing absolutely fine. Nick nack, the party snack. Let's give you something else. Heavy loadout. Really should be this here. With a bit of that. Certainly not a smoke grenade, but rather a flashbang. Then we want this here, and then we definitely want that. Good. And for you guys, no aiming module now. That's okay. Get a couple more grenades though. Or in your case, a first aid kit and a stand baton. Good. Sounds like our team is ready to rumble, but as always, that is going to happen in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy Xenonauts content, leave a comment and a like down below. Elsewise, the aliens might shoot you, and you won't be as lucky as to survive with one hit point. Take care and have a good one. Bye bye.